In this video, I want to talk to you about the Gardner Hype Cycle. This is a model that was developed by the Gardner Group to understand how technologies kind of come on the scene and then what happens to them as they eventually go through a pattern to become a mature technology. This model is usually depicted by having two axes, one where we have time along the x-axis and visibility uh, or sometimes utility uh, along the y-axis. What happens is when a new technology is developed, we have this technology trigger. Everybody hears about this technology. Um, people start to see it at conferences. They start to hear about it on the internet. Uh, so there's this technology trigger. And after that trigger, we start to see more and more talk about how great this technology is, what it could be doing to help our society. And we eventually get to a point where we have such great expectations that they're probably well overinflated. So we think that 3D printing is gonna be uh, what we're gonna have in everybody's kitchen. It's gonna 3D print my dinner for me. It's going to uh, 3D print uh, repair parts for my vacuum cleaner. It's gonna be the end all and be all of my existence. Well, it turns out that's not usually the case. So our expectations start to get deflated and we eventually enter this trough of disillusionment. So we're kind of disillusioned with the technology, say, oh, that was garbage. Um, there must be something else that would be better that's gonna solve all the problems in my life. Now, out of that, uh, some technologies actually end there. That's kind of it, they're a flash in the pan. But a lot of technologies kind of move up this slope of enlightenment where people say, well, maybe it wasn't going to save the planet, but maybe there's some great applications for it. And so people start developing applications using this technology, testing it out, getting some real data, getting some real customers, and you eventually enter this plateau of productivity where you see um, good productive work coming out of this technology. So you'll see other representations of this where uh, they will talk about some of the different uh, things that happen along the way here. And if you download the handout for this series of videos, uh, I provide more information there. This is the hype cycle for uh, last year. And you'll see that we have virtual assistants. We're very, very high on that hype cycle. So things like Alexa and the uh, Google Home. And um, we also have uh, machine learning very uh, high on that list as well. And we have things like virtual reality. This actually is starting to enter that uh, slope of enlightenment and hopefully a plateau of productivity. So that's the Gardner hype cycle. Um, some folks will point out that there have been technologies that don't follow this very well. Uh, but I do think it's another good way for us to help understand kind of the cycle, especially when it comes to um, societies understanding of technology and their expectations for it um, in the marketplace. So you can click to go to the next video where we'll talk about the technology adoption life cycle. And you can of course subscribe if you want more stuff like this.